Hi all, welcome to another video. It's yet another wedge shape HB Compact. This is the Elite 8200. Now it originally came with an i3 2100 processor, but I've upgraded that to the maximum it'll take, which is an i7 2600. It's got eight gig of RAM, so that's four sticks of two gig each. And it's got an R5 340x amd 2 gig graphics card nothing to write home about but should be okay for team fortress 2 roblox uh, minecraft valorant etc games like that so what i'll do is i'll lift up that flap at the top so you can see the inside so that's the inside of the system so they uh, tidied up the case and removed not too much dust actually so graphics card is top right it's a low profile you are limited to low profile cards in this uh, in this uh, case so i think you'll probably get away with a 1050 ti which to, without too much bottlenecking but they're not cheap unfortunately top left is power supply bottom left is taken up by the dvd rewriter now it's got a 500 gig mechanical drive. I've got a 60 gig SSD on the way for uh, Windows and booting up. But for the purpose of this test, that mechanical drive is is okay. Bottom right is the CPU, cooler, shroud and exhaust fan. And on the front, we've got the usual USB 2 ports. You're limited to USB 2. On the rear, it's got USB 2 ports as well. Microphone heads, phone sockets, front and back. So any questions about the system as it stands, let me know. And in the next video, I'll do some benchmarking.